okay? That will be it. Please help me welcome. to develop a sound that suits us. I see this teamwork as experimenting with the ingredients that we have to produce a result that we as young people feel identified with. The result of that is something that is very sincere, that is very real. Aurelio and I and the rest of the the collective. Everybody understands the mission. It's much more than just music. It's much more than just making it. Or making it for what, you know? You're only here for a little while. Let's put it this way. And it might sound very cliche and all that, but in this case, we all feel it. And especially since Andy's passing, that changed all our lives. How high you go in the world music charts, you're still dealing with music made by a minority group in a, in a language that very few people in the world know. And in the case of Aurelian Honduras, it gets much worse. Because on top of everything, Garifunas in Honduras are still very discriminated against. We had to do something bold with this album. I've always been very conscious of not repeating. I think it's very boring when you bring out something and people just, oh yeah, but it makes sense. It's, it doesn't challenge you in any way. This is not just a one hit, not just a one shot. If you look back from the very first record that Stone Tree put out to now, there is a logic to it. There's, there's at least 15 albums that you can really, if you study it a little bit, you could see where that where we're coming from and, and, and hints as to where we're going. When I landed in Dakar, that was my first trip to West Africa, a region of the world that I've always wanted to visit, specifically because of its music and the influence so many West African musicians has, has had on the work that I do and the musicians that I work with. Even if they were not aware of it, 
uh, it's it's there that influence is clearly there and those connections are are, are very obvious went to Dakar, pretty much the album was in the can. We had basically finished the album. Aurelio had already asked Yusu to be on the album and Yusu had agreed. said, well, I'll go and, and do the sessions and we'll spend some time together. But that was it. I, we weren't prepared to add anything else to it. I think everything changed when we went, we went to this club just for you in Dakar and Orquesta Baobab was, was playing and we're there in the lounge next to the stage and watching this Aurelio got like so excited about it there was of course this Latin flavor to the music that they played that Aurelio immediately connected Aurelio is a big fan of like salsa, merengue, these Latin rhythms so I really asked to go on stage with them and he improvises with them and after this show they start talking and hugging and blah 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 what you're doing here doing a record and I really asked me if it would be okay and that so he asked them and said yeah down so that was kind of like the door just open singing in the 